Hey, Fred Minnick here, and I'm about to taste this uh, new Penelope uh, barrel strength. Now, this is a corn, rye, wheat, malted barley, so a four-grain barrel proof. This is their batch six. Now, if you have watched many of my tastings, you know I am one of the tasters out there. I love the taste of grain, so whether it's like an expression of like corn, oats, um, breads, cornbreads. I am a big fan of grains. In fact, I have a discussion all the time with my good friend Kenny Coleman on Bourbon Pursuit. He likes that sweet oak note. I happen to find sometimes that oak can be uh, overpowering, and I like the subtleness of grains. I don't like raw grains or overpowering of grains. I like it when grains are, are an expression of, they're expressed in in the whiskey but they're not like all over the place like so i love the taste of grains i really do always have probably always will so that's why you find me like really really attracted to four grains now i've been you know spirits of french lake four grain was up for my whiskey of the year last year did quite well finished in my top 10 uh also won my best non-kentucky bourbon it is uh, sublime, and Penelope's been knocking on that door with some four-grain gems, and this is their latest barrel strength. I'm excited to taste this. Now, Penelope is a brand that uh, is kind of taking a little bit of a marketing cue from how Barrel Bourbon built themselves. Uh, it's They're building themselves kind of like in a non-traditional sense in that they are the way that they are marketing themselves is they're marketing themselves kind of like guerrilla tactics you know making relationships within the i would say like you know the bourbon influencer community now they've reached out to me i've had conversations with them they're very nice uh they've also had those conversations with a lot of other people a lot of podcasters and if i'm not mistaken i think they are a sponsor on bourbon pursuit but i don't really keep up with our sponsors on that podcast so i apologize if they are not but um they are they are making relationships with people uh, who have large you know quality of followers on social media now, if you look at that in comparison to how a brand like, say, Bullet would market themselves, Bullet would start like at the whiskey festivals and the magazine ads and all that sort of thing. So what you've seen is is like these these companies that have less budgets, they now have uh, an avenue to promote themselves that whiskey distillers did not 20 years ago. So a brand like Penelope 20 years ago with the old ways of marketing could never, ever, ever stand out. And there's a very small chance that they would get in the hands of professional reviewers. Now, they could send bottles to people like Whiskey Advocate and hope that they would get reviewed, but sometimes they get kind of caught up in like a slush, like, you know, like the manuscripts do at the publishing houses. They call them slush piles. And so, like, this is a, this is a great day to be a small brand because you can create relationships with someone with like 20 to 100,000 followers on Instagram, and that can be every bit as a quality of a marketing look as, say, uh, a 90-point review in a magazine like Whiskey Advocate. So I just wanted to point that out from like a, a marketing perspective because it is a unique time to be a brand like Penelope, and I do believe the brand Barrel Bourbon you know, built that style of, of marketing in today's world. With that being said, this is not a marketing channel. I don't really like to talk about marketing a whole lot. Uh, it's just, it is what it is. It's part of it. I'm all about tasting the stuff. So let's jump right into this four grain. So this is aged for 43 months. They do age at Castle and Key. So that big, long, beautiful warehouse there uh, that has incredible airflow. Um, that's where they're aging. So let's go first into the nose okay the nose is coming off a little uh little corn forward to be honest with you i i definitely smell a lot of the corn i don't really get any of the rye or or the wheat but oddly i get like um i get the barley so there's almost like this you know there's there's like this honey smell that you get 
in a lot of the in a lot of the um, uh, single malts. Oh my goodness. That's got that has all kinds of beautiful um, sweetness around it. So this has like a this has like a piece of uh, wheat bread toast with those little uh, pieces of um, you know kind of crunchiness in there, like a little bit of the seeds that are that have been cooked in with the with the bread, you know, and then you put a little bit of honey butter on there. So it's like a honey butter on on a wheat toast. I'm gonna taste it one more time for the finish. It definitely so on the taste, um, the wheat expresses itself. This is what I find fascinating about about four grains is especially when they're young the grains express themselves at different points of like a four point tasting you know in the aromatic side the corn was very prominent on the taste the wheat was very prominent i find that on the finish the the rye the spiciness kind of comes out so it finishes you know kind of medium with a really bright you know pepper peppercorn uh peppercorn note and this is really quite a tasty, tasty, tasty uh, a bourbon. Um, if you are into four grains, if you like tasting grains, this Penelope uh, Batch Six of the Cast Strength series is a must-have. Um, I would, I would say that this were this right here, you you taste this side by side. The spirits of French Lick one, and you know it's going to be a toss-up in a in a taste-off. So big fan of this particular release this is uh to date my favorite of the penelopes that i have tasted definitely definitely excited for this one right here so if you don't like grains if you don't appreciate the nuance of grains you don't like how they express themselves stay away from this bottle stay away from it if you desire that sweet oak if you desire that uh, really caramel forward over dripping vanilla this is not the bottle for you you have to appreciate grain in order to like this uh, Penelope barrel strength batch six for grain but that's going to do it for this tasting thank you for tuning in if you'd like to check out more honest reviews make sure you hit that subscribe button or if you'd like to become a member and see what all this stuff is going on inside the inside uh, hit that join button. But that's going to do it. I appreciate you all tuning in. Be safe out there. No licking handrails, no licking trash cans. Remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers, everybody.